Hey guys, I wanted to come on here and do a little baby Abram update. He's not so much a baby anymore. If you don't remember my 12 month update on him, I kept calling him baby Abram, baby Abram. And I was like, I'm not giving up that title, he's a baby. But in the last two months, since he is only days away from being 14 months old, he's not a baby anymore. He's not a baby. If you haven't seen, we are done breastfeeding. We have weaned him and he's not a baby. He's a big boy. I mean, he'll always be my baby, but yeah. So trying to think of what's new with him. He is still not walking. He is pulling up on furniture and walking across and he bear crawls and he will walk if you hold even one hand, but he won't even stand on his own yet. Like you'll try and let him go and he's just like, oh no, no, no. Like he's done it a couple times. I wouldn't even say a couple, I'd probably say like 10 to 15 times over since like 11 months old. He has completely stood on his own for a few seconds, but it's not when either of us are holding him up. It's not when either of us are trying to instigate that. It's like when he thinks nobody's watching, he'll be holding on to a toy or a couch and he'll just let go. Jeremy and I have done the thing where you like sit in front of one another and kind of try and pass him back and forth to get him to walk. And he kind of still does the like fall towards you walk. So he's very much capable. He's just not into it. And I was thinking today that some of the reasons that he may not be walking too is that we baby wear a lot. And not just when we're out and about, like if I'm cooking dinner and he's fussy, I'll put him on my back. But we are out and about a lot. We are um, living overseas, as you know, and you know, every, every day we're going out and he's either in a stroller or he's in the ergo. Um, I mean, he does get plenty of hours of playtime here in the house. I mean, hours a day where he's pulling up to things, pushing things. We got him this little car and he will push it all the way down the hall and all the way back. And so he's walking, pushing things. That's his little car. And he pushes that. He pushes a chair. He pushes this <laughs> across the floor, down the hall. He'll push his stroller. So he's very capable of walking. It's the balance thing where he's like, uh, -uh I ain't got this yet. But I do have to say, I'm super glad he's not walking yet. Oh my gosh, like the apartment we're living in now, like our temporary situation is not baby proof. Like there's just lots of little edges and corners and things that I think he could get into more if he was walking or get hurt on more if he was walking. So we're eager to kind of get into our own house to baby proof it before he starts walking. And I think it'll be really cool if his first steps happen in our own house, like our own, like our first Ecuadorian house. So that's kind of, I'm glad he's not walking yet. Um, and I think I mentioned it in previous videos, but Jeremy didn't walk till 15 or 16 months. So we shall see. As far as words go, about two weeks ago, I think, he just started talking just almost overnight. And it's still not audible, like completely fully formed words, but as mama and papa, we understand his words. So. He is still saying mama and dada. He says papa. He says um, nana, which is for banana. But it also, anytime he's hungry, he's just going nana, nana, nana. Um, he says dog, dog. We have some dogs that are beneath our balcony. And so every night we say night, night, dog, dogs. And he'll go night, night, dada. So they're not like dog, dog, but it's dada and da when he sees a dog or, you know, night, night. He's going nana, nana. You know, so he says night night, he says bye bye. I think he's starting to say either hello or hola because when he sees people, he's like, hola. Like he'll kind of say something and it sounds like a mixture of hello and hola. So when we see people or he's just waving to people, he's just kind of going, he is. He's just kind of saying hi to them. He is super outgoing, which is not like me at all. I think he gets that from his dad. You know, when we're sitting in the bus, um, going somewhere, everybody who walks by, like getting off the bus, he reaches his hand out and he's like, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ha, and he wants to like high five them. He wants to touch them. He wants to say hi to them. He's just very outgoing, not shy at all. 
very few times have I ever seen him kind of like shy away for, from somebody or like cower his head. And it's usually when he's super tired and then he's just like, I don't want to talk to you. And that he does get from me. <laughs> As far as eating goes, he is no longer breastfeeding like I said, and he is now exclusively just drinking water. We really believe in water for hydration, that drinking's for hydration, and that food is for nutrition. So um, he just drinks water. Now I will make green smoothies on a regular basis, and he loves that. That kind of becomes his like between breakfast and lunch snack is like a green smoothie. He is loving those, so it's great because you can't really feed a baby spinach, not raw spinach anyway. And so it's a great way to blend up a lot of greens and get those in his little body. So he's loving green smoothies. We will also make fresh, like fresh squeezed orange juice, no sugar added or anything, and give him that. And sometimes when we're out and about, there's lots of little juice bars where they just cut up oranges and juice them right there in front of you. And we will give him those juices as well. I would say he's gotten green smoothie like two two times a week and fresh juices probably two or three times a week. So that's what he's drinking. As far as eating, this kid is a bottomless pit. He cannot get enough. For breakfast, he is still eating two to three bananas. Then he has a mid-morning snack, which is usually like a green smoothie or some kind of fruit and sometimes like raisins. Then his lunch is almost always broccoli and potatoes with avocado mashed in. It's almost like a big mashed potato mash, but it fills up a whole bowl. And we usually take that with us when we go out and about during the day and feed him on the go. So he's eating that for lunch. And then again, between lunch and dinner, he'll have some kind of snack. It's usually again, raisins, fruit, probably another banana, fresh juice if we're out and about, he'll drink that and then sometimes even has another banana. So it's usually four to five bananas he's eating a day. So this is his little divider tray and you can see how big this is, like as big as my head. And in this big pocket over here, I will usually, okay, let's just say last night's dinner. So last night's dinner was, this was full of broccoli and cauliflower and this one had some carrots and potatoes and this one had a bunch of mango in it. So this is what I use every night for dinner just to kind of get a good portion of like, you know, fruits, vegetables, and then some kind of like starch or carb like pasta or potatoes or something like that. But I'm always giving him raw fruit. It's not canned or anything. It's just fresh cut fruit. That's really important to me that he gets lots and lots of fruit. So that's what he's eating. He's huge. Ooh, speaking of weight, he now weighs... I think 24.2 pounds, we just weighed him a few days ago. So he now weighs a little over 24 pounds and that is naked. <laughs> um, he is still in, it's really bizarre because I feel like size 12 clothes are what he's been in the longest out of any sizing of clothing, but he is still in size 12 pants and even some of them are too long on him. So he has these short little legs and um, but they're getting a little bit snug in the waist so he really needs to move up to 18 months but they're way too long so and then the same is kind of true for his 12 month shirts most of them are still fitting him but in the belly they don't really fit it's like they're they're not only a little bit too short in the belly but they also just girth wise like around he's too round for them so um like they fit him in the arms and stuff, but I think we really need to move all the way up to 18 month shirts. And then he's still in 18 month pajamas, things like that. He is still in a, actually I think he moved up to a size five diaper, but I don't know how much that crosses over to American sizes because here we got him the size grande diaper that says it goes up to like 27 pounds. And it does it. We put it on him and it barely, I can barely get it on around his waist and then he pees through it every time. So we moved him up to the next size diaper and it's, it's still, it's almost the same. It's almost hard getting around his waist, the size five or whatever it is that goes up to like 30 some pounds. Um, it still has a hard time getting around his waist and then it's way too long on him and so he's peed through those, those a couple of times. So we are still cloth diapering while we're at home, but when we're out and about, we're putting him in a disposable diaper just because it's so much easier than dealing with wet bags and um, clothes fitting over cloth diapers and things like that. So, and actually I think he's up. So I will let you guys see a 14 month old Abram. 
Did you have a good nap? Did you sleep with Joey? Yeah. Whoa, did you drop the book? Did you drop your book? Can you say dog dog? Dog dog? <gasps> Where are the dog dogs? Dog dogs! Abram. Hey. As far as sleep goes, he is sleeping from about 7 p.m. until about 6 a.m. Um, and over the last, especially since breastfeeding, he goes down completely without a fuss. We just lay him down. He rolls over to his little Joey and he's just like, night night. I mean, it's like a drug to him. He just rolls over and goes straight to sleep. So it has been magical since we weaned him. And as far as nap goes, it's the same thing. We just lay him down. He's like, okay, good night. And he just rolls over, cuddles his Joey and goes right to sleep. Yeah. And um, his naps, he's still taking two naps. He takes one about two hours after he wakes up. So if he wakes up at 6 a.m., we lay him down around 8 a.m. And he sleeps until, I think right now, it's almost 10. So it's like two hours. And then he goes down again, yeah. usually around 1, 1.30, uh. and sleeps for about an hour, sometimes a little longer. He's just so sweet. I have just enjoyed him a lot more since we did completely wean him from breastfeeding. We have just had so much fun. He's in such a good mood and he's just, he's funny. Like, I know that's weird to say because he can't talk much or do much, but to me, he's just funny. He does some of the funniest things. He completely cracks us up. Something else that's really, really important is that he is obsessed with dogs. Oh goodness. Um, just like I told you he likes to say night night to the dog dogs, as soon as we see any dogs when we're out and about in the stroller, he just starts flailing his hands going da 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 and he starts giggling and so he just loves any kind of dog. He just yeah. is obsessed. Yeah, dog. Say hi dog dogs. Hi dog dog. <laughs> You're not gonna say it. So another thing we did that's been really funny is the other day we turned on like Caesar Milan on YouTube or like cute puppies, just different videos on YouTube. And he was just giggling, just giggling, laughing, just cracking up at dogs. And it, we, I thought maybe it'd be the same for all animals. And I've turned on kitties. I've turned on like the funny goats. No, it's dogs. He loves dogs. What do you want to say to everybody? What do you want to say? How big you are. What about dog dogs? Did you want to talk about dog dogs? Yeah? Say hi dog dogs. Hi dog dogs. <laughs> are you not going to talk for the camera? <gasps> hi dog dogs. Hi dog dogs. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're over there sleeping. Are oh, you reading books? This is just a continuation of Abram's 14 month update. I actually filmed that almost a week ago thinking, you know what, not much is gonna change in a week. I just know not much is gonna change in a week. Well, of course things change in a week. So in the week between when I filmed that and today, which is when he actually turns 14 months old, things have changed. So in the last six days, he has started blowing kisses. I taught him one day how to blow kisses and now he goes, ma, ma, and he keeps doing that. So he's now blowing kisses. I also taught him, I asked him, can I see your nose? And we would rub our noses together like Eskimo kisses. And so now when I ask him, can I see your nose? He'll rub his nose in the last six days. So then we also, we just moved to our house um, and we have cows out back and so he's been mooing, that's a new thing. And what else, there was something else that he started doing. Oh, I taught him how to say please in sign language so now he rubs his belly. Instead of just saying more, he'll say more or please or both at the same time. And then the last thing is that I talked about in his 14 month update how he's not walking, he's not even standing on his own. And wouldn't you know it, in the last six days, he has started standing on his own, not a ton, but way more than ever where we'll just catch him completely just standing on his own for like 20, 30 seconds, a minute where he's just standing there. So I have a feeling he will be walking in the next few weeks, if not the next month, which is about when Jeremy walked to right at 15 months. So yeah, this is just a quick little snippet of, Hey, I filmed that too early and here's some things that have happened. And today he's 14 months old. So yeah. Do you want to say bye to everybody? Huh, blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, you're big.
Are you reading books? What are you doing? Hmm. Bye guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye.